thanks for joining me for our Adobe Express stream. Um, we are going to be here looking at how to make a GIF in Adobe Express. And I'm just going to browse on my device and just upload that video. So here's my video. It's definitely too long. You can play it and see oh, it was a bit wobbly bit of a raised eyebrow there so I'm just going to trim it down because I don't need all of those bits so we'll maybe have like a looping three seconds and then you can choose what file size you want so that'll probably be dependent on where you're planning to use it um, I'm just going to stick with medium for now it, it gives you like a clue here social destination so if you want it for social media that's probably your best option now another thing that's quite good is that you can choose the size so I can either stick with it at my landscape ratio or I can go for portrait and then it's going to crop it down um or you can, and you can fill the screen. So if you don't want it, you can like fill the screen and drag it around. Um, you can also go for the square, a square format. And again, you can choose whether it fills the screen. So that's quite good. Cause then you could sort of maybe use the same GIF and use it in all different places. So I'm gonna stick with landscape for now. And then you literally just click download and it's gonna save as a GIF file on your computer. And then you are gonna be able to use that wherever you want. So as I mentioned, this sort of GIF, maybe not exactly this, I would probably do some other things to it, but um, I would probably use on in an email newsletter, like I've seen some people do this really well, where they almost make really funny meme-like GIFs of themselves. And then they use that and it just helps like their audience get to know them better. Um, okay, so I'm gonna head over here custom size graphic and let me see what I'm going to go for I'm just going to pick um yeah I'm just going to go for this sort of dimension click next and I'm going to create a back to school graphic now you could use these really effectively to promote something that you are working on in your business so say you had a product launch or a course launch or yeah something or maybe like a podcast episode that you wanted to promote anything like that you could create your graphic in Adobe Express and then we'll convert it into a gif okay so I'm going to start off with some photos and I was looking earlier at these the flat lay section and I'm actually a bit obsessed with um, look how amazing these flat lays are so as I mentioned, I'm going to do a back to school um, sort of design. And I know there's a few cool stationary options. So I'm going to go with this one and you'll see the crown. So the crown means that um, it's part of the paid version of Adobe Express, but you'll see there's lots of options as well that don't have a crown. So you can use them no problem if you have the free version. So I'm just going to fill the screen with this flat lay and then I'm just going to write uh, back to school this isn't going to take very long to do so we can make a few of them so I'm just going to put my text in the middle and I'm going to use the color picker and get a color from the illustration so that it all looks nice and cohesive um, I might have a little play around with a some of the fonts. It's like a quite a nice handwritten option here. The other tool that I always um, forget about but is amazing is the font recommendations. And so you can put in a font, but then it's going to give you a whole bunch of other options and you can click on explore more and it's going to come up with even more for you. So actually, oh, that one's really nice. Let's try that one. OK, so I want to add a few other little bits because I'm going to animate this in a minute. So I want some elements that I can animate. Let's look for a ruler. Let me see something like this. So. I'm just going to adjust where that goes. Might make a little sort of stationary border. Maybe I made the text a little bit too big. And again, I'm going to 
uh, use the eyedropper tool and get a color from the design. So maybe something like that. Um, let's look for a pencil next. Okay, so let's find a pencil. Uh, oh, I like this one. So many different options, which is really handy. Um, so I'm going to put this up here. Okay, so I'm just going to get a color again from the design, maybe this light blue. Okay, so I think that's looking pretty good. I might just see if I can find one more icon that I can put in the top here. So now what I'm going to do is head over to the animation button and have a little play around with how I want it to animate. Now you can animate the text and the graphics or you can animate the photo. So like you can do things like the color will gradually change, which could make for a quite a cool GIF. Um, you can make the image fade in, you can make it blur and then become sharp. So there's lots of different options you can do. You can pan in and you've got a few different pan options. It, this could be quite cool going from gray to color. I might put that one on for now. This might be too much if I do too many different animation options, but just to show you what's possible. Um, so I'm, hang on, I tell you what, I'm going to put it on. Oh, actually, I think you can only choose one. I'm going to put it on color shuffle because I really like that one. So color shuffle just changes. It sort of like cycles through the colors that you've used in the project. Um, and all of these elements will get changed, not the photo, but any of the icons and the text. I am going to download this and I'm going to download it as an MP4 video, which obviously isn't a GIF yet, but then all I need to do is go and do the sort of trick that I showed you at the beginning. And yeah, that is it. I hope that's been really helpful and thanks for joining me.